the ugliest girl meets Elvis, a residential school play is coming to the Empress Theatre on October 10th, 11th and 12th. Ramona and Carl join me there, a mother and son duo who actually wrote the play. So let's first off start by talking a little bit about the storyline of the play, Carl. Well, the storyline takes, play, takes place in the 50s, around 1956, 57, uh, in Elvis Presley's heyday when he was really getting popular. Uh, it takes place out on the Blood Reserve. Uh, St. Paul's Residential School is kind of uh, loosely based on that place there. Um, the storyline goes, it starts with a young boy who's just brought to the residential schools. They're actually, uh, they stay at residential schools till they're 16, so he was brought in a little late. He's about 15, 15 years old. Um, he gets picked on by the other boys, but quickly he learns to fight. As well, there's another girl there who's about the same age, 16, 15 years old, and uh, she's just she's just recently brought back from an escape attempt. It's her third escape attempt, and she's brought back to the school. And it actually turns out to be a love story between the two of them in the end. And I think what it is is um, it's always being able to find uh, happiness in anything. Like you look at the poorest countries in the world, the children are still smiling and they're still finding ways to play. So this is kind of like uh, the same thing. The residential schools, yes, it was a dark period in Canadian history, but our kids were still having fun. They're still looking for ways to enjoy themselves and, you know, kids still fall in love back then as well. So that's kind of what we're t we touched upon here. So there's, there's a happy message in, in this story of maybe a hard, a hard subject to talk about. Yeah. Absolutely. That's fantastic. And Ramona, where, where did the inspiration from this, this story come from? Well, I'm a residential school survivor myself. I'm a product of both my parents who are residential school survivors, both sets of grandparents on both sides. So the, the, the history of residential school within my own family goes, ba goes back about four generations. So um, the inspiration of The Ugliest Girl Meets Elvis comes from uh, a uh, weekend that Carl and I spent with listening to stories from residential school survivors. So every every scene within the play come, came from an actual experience of a residential school survivor. And so my story was the ugliest girl story. And basically what happened was um, I was maybe about seven years old and we were all told to line up and the older girls were going to pick the prettiest to the ugliest. And so when, as they would do that, your name would get called and you, you, you leave the lineup. So it turned out at the end, there was only two of us left, me and a, girl, a little girl named Patty. Now that day I'll never forget, but what made it even hit home for me was about 10 years later, Patty died by suicide. So to me, if, she rem if I could remember, I was the second ugliest. Patty was the ugliest, according to the, to the older girls there. That must, have, that must have affected her life, right? And so, so that's that part. Now we also know as playwrights and, and in our involvement in theater for many years that your audience can only take so much. So we tried to create a balance. Yes, like Carl mentioned, there was some really tough times and it is a dark period of all our history, not just Aboriginal history, but Canadian history. And so the Elvis story is my dad's story. My dad who's passed away about 11 years ago, when he was in residential school, he was actually the first Elvis impersonator in our community because uh, one night he put on an Elvis show uh, for the students and apparently it was the only time that older girls were allowed to wear lipstick at the residential school. So it turned out to be a really uh, a positive night for them and many people to this day still come up to us and and remind us of, oh, I remember that time your dad was Elvis on the stage. Ramona, where can you get tickets if you want to come out? Tickets are on sale at the Empress Theatre in Fort McLeod. Tickets are $15 a person and $12 for seniors and students. Great. Thank you so much, guys. Again, that's The Ugliest Girl Meets Elvis, a residential school play coming to the Empress Theatre on October 10th, 11th and 12th.